He is. He's fine. Yeah, he came back, so then it was no uh, no issue. Wanted to make sure it wasn't wasn't uh, anything too serious. Once it was, he's fine. Don, do you feel like that was a step in the right direction for your group? Against that it was a big step uh, in the right direction from our level of compete. We wanted to make sure we competed. I said it to, you know, to, the, to the group yesterday. Uh, we needed that. We needed to compete, and that was um, it, it, something we need to do. It's, it's, uh, it's the way to get better, and we know we have a lot of guys that have the capacity to get better. They have to compete like that. You generated offense. Was it a hot goalie or something you guys did? Well, I mean, we, we did, and, and obviously enough offense and things could have been different. So, um, you know, they're obviously a very capable team and players. And like I said, we generated enough that it could have been different. I thought, uh, you know, there are some things that will be, you know, learning things uh, where the momentum swung in the second period um, or, or turned or they, they got a little life in the second period, I should say. Uh, we didn't give them much life till, till a, you know, a, 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 you know, a couple minor incidents that need to be cleaned up more having to do with experience and that's unfortunately that's experience gained tonight uh the hard way Don, the third period was a strength early in the year in the last few games you've been close a lot of the time but you've given up a bunch of goals how much of that is just the learning curve when games are tight against some of these veteran teams yeah it, it uh i think we'll get back to that we'll, you know better better energy in the in the third um you know i think uh Again, tonight we, we did some things that, you know, we were on top of that team pretty good. And, um, and they felt a little life. Uh, and, you know, it, it's just uh, some, some scenarios within the game that we'll, we'll look at. We'll put in front of some a couple, you know, individual players and that they'll just have to get better at and progress at. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. How to, how the third? I mean, again, we, we've played some pretty capable teams, and uh, you know, we had chances too. I, it's like I said, could, could, game could have went either way. How much of a backbone was credit for you tonight? He was good. He was solid. He, he. I thought, I thought we gave him uh, shot selection that he could read shooters very well, and then there were a few incidents where he just, he just was, you know, outstanding reading, reading shooters when, you know, maybe it was uh, more an inadvertent play or a two on one and. Um, very, you can see his uh, knowledge of the position, his hockey sense, reading plays and how plays will develop uh, in front of him. Uh, very nice job by him. So it's in the first period that the Bruins were getting frustrated with the way you guys were playing. It seemed like you know they were slamming the sticks and stuff. It seemed like they, you were on top of them enough that it seemed to me you were frustrated. Yeah, I, I think any group that when we're on our game I think we have the ability to frustrate any group um, and and I, I, I think that was the case I think you know we were we were skating uh, we were playing as a group of five and a unit of five and um, yeah it, it, uh, it did appear that way and you know credit to them they're they're very uh, disciplined uh, and lots of experience and, and uh, you know that experience pulled them through in this case A uh, bitter taste in their mouth. Yeah, I think we got a group that uh, you know I've said it before. You know that they're they're not happy. Uh, it, it pisses them off, and that's a really good thing for for us. That's we brought in competitive people. We we know they're young, but uh, we brought in competitive people for that reason. That they just this when this stuff happens, they they don't like it and they want to fix it. And um, I think the, the silver lining is they know they can fix it. We, we need to keep getting the experience to make that know-how knowledge. How close was Kyle today? Uh, you know, he's going to take a couple days, Mike, before we can evaluate him, which I think probably the best way to say it is it's going to be a few days of rest and then it'll be day-to-day. -day. So he wasn't, you know, it wasn't going to be a decision this morning on him. Uh, a little bit like we did with Labushkin, just give it a, give it a little rest for a few days, see where we're at, and then be day to day from there. Thanks, guys.